Hello everybody, and welcome to another edition of Drew's Food Reviews. And today I've got another episode of Too Sweet. And I found these at my 99 cent store, but I've also seen these in the Daiso store. But when I went the other day, they didn't have this particular one. And then I was lucky to have found it in the 99 cent store. Because I think it was actually a little more in the Daiso store. I think it was like $1.50 for them. And these were 99 cents. And this is a product of Japan. And I got two different flavors. And this is from the Mi... Oh boy, I hope I say this. I hope I say this right. I don't know. It's M-E-I-J-I. Mi, Mi Jai. I think that's how it's said. And these are called Chaka Rooms. And this one is strawberry. They're little crackers with the chocolate on the top. Or in this case, it's like a white chocolate strawberry. And then I also got these other ones. They're the <clears throat> Chaka Rooms. And it's actually chocolate on top. So they're both on here. So one bag is 210 and 210. So 210 on... <laughs> 210, 210. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, something about that. Kind of funny, but anyway, it says, yeah, this is milk and dark chocolate combination with crispy cracker. And this is sweet and creamy strawberry with natural and artificial flavors with a crispy cracker. Oh, okay. So, this is, yeah, distributed by May Mijai America Inc., York, Pennsylvania, product of Japan, M E I J I America.com. So you can go there and find out about probably what other products they have. I know they have like a chop. They have a chocolate bar. They have other ones like this. They have like tree stumps, hamburgers, you know, weird kind of things like that. But thought I'd give this one a try because they're really cute and got a little notch. So oh yeah, there we go. And I'm gonna try this one first. Wow, they're really cool looking. Got a couple out of here. <laughs> well, I don't know. All kind of the same, but these really smell real good. And they do look like a mushroom. So like here you go. <laughs> okay. <sighs> well, pink doesn't really... Okay, I'm gonna try to be politically correct about this, but that does look like a mushroom. You know, some people could think it's something else, but <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but it's got the little cracker. It's kind of like a Pocky, I think. The Pocky little sticks with the dipped in chocolate. But this has got like a much bigger um, part on the top. And then it's got the little mushroom cracker on the bottom. So, uh, sacrifice a mushroom. So here we go, guys. Hmm. Okay, yeah. That's a lot like a Pocky with that little crunchy. That strawberry is actually really good. I'm tasting that. Wow, the strawberry flavor to it. Nice and sweet, creamy. Crunchy little cookie. Hmm. Pretty good. I like the strawberry flavor on that. It's really good. And now the other one, chocolate room. Well, they're both chocolate rooms, but this is the chocolate one. I'm assuming it's going to look exactly the same, only in chocolate. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Being, being nice. But yeah. Chocolate room. And see what the chocolate one tastes like. Hmm. Same crispy cracker. Hmm. Chocolate, it's pretty good. Hmm. Okay, yeah. One more time. Mm. Yeah, it says it's a dark and a um, milk chocolate combined. It's 
fairly sweet, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm tasting a little bit of that blend. Hmm. They're a nice, good little snack. A pretty good chunk of that chocolate on the top, and it kind of melts well afterwards. Now I'm tasting a little bit of that more chocolate as it's melting. Pretty good. I'll give you guys a rating on the Meiji. I'll rate both of them separate. For the Meiji chocolate rooms, chocolate ones, those were pretty good. I'll give those a seven out of 11. The cracker was nice and sweet and crispy. And the chocolate on the top, I don't know. The blend wasn't my favorite blend of it, but it wasn't too bad. So that one was just okay. For the strawberry one, I like that actually a little bit better. The strawberry was not nice sweet and then it was creamy with the chocolate and the thing so i think this one was a little bit better i'd give that one uh i'll give that one an eight out of 11. it's pretty good they're they're not the most spectacular snacks but they are pretty good if you've got a daiso or a 99 cent store that maybe gets these go ahead and give them a try and like i said these were only 99 cent and uh i thought it was pretty good so you can find them, go and give them a try and see if you like them. So that's my take on both of those. And I've got a, a couple other J Japanese snacks that I've got from Daiso Store that I'll be trying in future reviews. So stay tuned for those. And, man, uh, got a little hiccup. So until next time on Drew's Food Reviews, when I'll be trying something new for yous out there. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And hit the subscribe and the notification bell if you already haven't. And that way you won't miss the future content. Or also, you can go through my library. Lots of different reviews out there for you guys. And uh, quite, a, quite a bit of uh, content for you to peruse at your leisure. So, till next time on Drew's Food Reviews. When I'll be trying something else out there for yous. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and put these. I'm actually going to put them in the freezer so they don't get melted and I'll have them again later. So till next time, I'll talk to you later.